All right, so I'm Ryan, and I'm going to talk about professional sports. In summary, uh, the first team was the 1869 Cincinnati Red Stockings for the first professional league for baseball, and the, first start, which was the National League was started in 1879. Uh, the first commissioners were, for the sports were pretty important. The first commissioner for baseball was in 1920, was Judge Kennesaw Mountain Landis, who was like the judge who oversaw the, the Black Sox scandal. And his philosophy for his commissioning was act in the best interest of the game. NFL's like main commissioner uh, was Pete Rozelle, whose league think policy was basically act in a way that is best for the league to promote them. And then for the PGA is Albert Gates, and his uh, philosophy is what good will it do for golf. Other uh, like designations that uh, commissioners do, they deal with contract disputes between clubs and players, discipline manners, and rule making. Um, in 1885, John Montgomery Ward established the first Players Association. Uh, it was one of four failed attempts up until 1952 when the MLBPA was established. Uh, the reason why these players' associations didn't work uh, is because that, uh, the owners could defeat the players' union due to their finances and their lack of finances. And then in 1954, the NBPA was established, but it wasn't really a dominating force until the 1960s. But now, ever since the 1960s, the players' association, which is kind of like a union, has been a dominating force, in, dominating force in professional sports. Um, the collective bargaining agreement is a negotiation. Once players have unionized, the league cannot make unilateral changes to hours, wages, or terms and conditions of employment, meaning that they like uh, teams can't make ludicrous contracts with players without uh, without this union like uh, agreeing to it. And what's nice for both sides with the CBA is that owners are immune from antitrust laws, from the draft, salary cap, and are in restrictions on free agency. All right, and then revenue is not main, is not from the local broadcasting or gate receipts. They get a little bit, but the majority of their revenue is from the national TV contracts, the we live licensing, and the league-wide sponsorship. So anything with their logo on it, they're basically making money from. And uh, ownership, as it is now, is, is basically getting too costly to do a loan, which is why they have, uh, that's the reason well, this was like something that happened, but it's called franchise free agency, which is when an owner threatens the city of moving the team if they don't get their demands of whether it be a new stadium or a certain contract. And now you see a lot of days that when a, when a team is purchased that there's multiple owners chipping in to buy a team. Um, professional sport involves the sale of entertainment value of events and exhibitions, so they're basically selling the customer the game itself or the event. Um, there's now a tough competition between the big pro sports, the big five, the MLB, NBA, NF, or the big four, the N and the NHL, and the uprising of collegiate athletics. Um, technology is now making pro sport more global and adding new revenue streams. It's international and now, and you can get TV basically anywhere from your laptop or your smartphone. And pro sports is constantly changing, creating new challenges for owners and people who are involved in the professional industry. Um, it's a self-governing style, not a corporate style, meaning that uh, if, if it was a corporate style that the CEO or the commissioner would basically act like the CEO and the owners would be a board of directors, but in reality it's like all, their, all the teams are like their own company and they're all run individually, but they still have a, a larger body that they have to go along with. The smaller leagues are limited liability companies to avoid antitrust laws. And they act as a single entity structure. I know the uh, MLS and the NLL and the WNBA use this, and basically what they do is they just get a lot of money together to establish the league, and then they all just govern it themselves. Um, teams are normally family owned for profitable reasons, just dating back, they just keep making more money and they're allowed to keep the franchise rights, meaning like the stadium where they play in the team name. Um, collective bargaining is used to reduce the commissioner's power. Um, if like, a collective bargaining agreement isn't agreed upon, they can also use the courts, but they try to stay away from that because it gets turns into just to a giant shit show because they're messy and no one wants to deal with it. And a strike is when the players don't agree with it, but a lockout is when the owners like shut down. And the leagues are expanding globally to increase revenue and create new interests. Um, challenging issues in sports today are the antitrust laws so that teams cannot be monopoly. Um, team ownership, a big issue is cross ownership, is when a, a, a single person or a unit owns more than one organization. The NFL banned this, but some other leagues are considering it. Um, the team value, marketing, trying to make your team as profitable as possible, but 
CBA, the competitive and balanced sports, trying to make the playing field somewhat even and competitive and enjoyable, uh, getting minorities into higher positions with race and gender, just having females and other people of different ethnicities trying to hold higher powers, um, dealing with salary caps so that teams can't spend as much money to make competitive fair and make the competitive advantage fair. Fan satisfaction, because when it comes down to it, they're the ones who are paying for everything and you're the one trying to make them enjoy the product and of course trying to make as much money as possible. And then this is just a bunch of different career paths that people can take in the professional industry, but I mean, in reality, it's just you need to be adaptive because it's a forever growing industry. But there's tons of positions anywhere in a professional organization.